I couldn't be happier. I feel safe. What's not to like about the joyous announcement from one of the world's finest divers, Tom Daly, today? Maybe perhaps that he found it necessary to make a public statement about the fact that he's in a gay relationship at all. But his evident happiness, his openness and his invitation to others to share his feelings do mark a huge change and are perhaps a sign that in some respects we have become a kinder, more civilised place. Here's what he said on YouTube. I met someone and they make me feel so happy, so safe and everything just feels great and well that someone is a guy and it did take me by surprise a little bit um i mean it was always in the back of my head that something like that could happen but it wasn't until spring this year that something just clicked it felt right and i was like mm, okay and <laughs> Of course, I still fancy girls, but I mean, right now I'm dating a guy and I couldn't be happier. Well, the American diver Greg Laganis won Olympic gold in 1984 and 1988. Openly gay to friends and family and many fellow divers, he came out publicly in the mid-90s. He joins us now from San Francisco. What did you make of this announcement today? I think it's wonderful that Tom, I mean, I, I, I've observed him at various competitions. I, I had the luxury of, you know, seeing him at, at, at a lot of the competitions. And the thing that impressed me most about Tom Daly, you know, it's not so much how talented he is, because he is an incredibly talented diver, but the way in which he treated his friends and his fans, and he's, he's always been kind, always had a smile on his face, and... For him to say those words, I mean, all we want is, is to be loved, feel loved, and also feel safe. And, and those were the words in his message, and, and I, I just really wish the best for him. And were you, you, slightly, know what, who, were you slightly envious of the times we live in now as compared to the times when you came up? Well, you know, it's interesting because when I look back at my career and, you know, a lot of the homophobic uh, comments that, that were made uh, through my career, you know, I've been back to a lot of those people um, who have actually become friends. Uh, it was more jealousy than it was homophobia, uh, you know, although there was some homophobia around there. Uh, but, you know, it's, we've come to a different age. I mean, we have Matthew Mitchum, who came out prior to the Beijing Olympic Games, and it was an Olympic gold medal, medalist there. And I think what, the thing that strikes me is, is the fact of honesty, that, that these young people feel in order for them to be all that they can be, they have to be honest with themselves and, and they, they need to be you know, honest with the public. But, you know, it is striking. This, this is a, this is a, a, a top-level com competitor. In an individual sport, in team sports, it's much more unusual, isn't it? In team sports, it's, it's a little different because that's why it's a team sport. I mean, unless you're like a, a Wayne Gretzky or Michael Jordan and you can, like, carry the team, you know, then, uh, you know, then it's pretty safe. You need, you need to have the safety and security. And th that, that's the thing that Tom said, that he feels safe. You know, and in a team situation, I mean, you have to have that support of the rest of your team. Um, I think that many players might find, find it very surprising that they actually might have that support, you know, if they were to, uh, to be a little bit more open about who they are. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard to be the first one to be out there. And, and you know, we're inundated with these, these ideals and, and, and what's right and what's wrong. And, you know, I, I was born this way. I, I was born gay. I didn't choose to be gay. Um, it's like me asking somebody who's straight, you know, oh, when did you choose to be straight? <laughs> do you, uh, you, I, know? You, may be, you may be a reticent fellow on, in this sort of matter, but do you have any advice for anyone who is gay and is not yet out and is a sportsman or woman? You know, I think it's each individual has their own personal journey, and and that journey is, 
uh, you know, you first start with people who you feel safe with, and that's usually your family and very close friends. And then it opens the door to, you know, once those, you know, those doors are open and, and you see the acceptance and the appreciation of your honesty and, uh, and how well respected that is, then you realize, you know, when it gives you more confidence to come out to, you know, to other people and just to share, you know, who you are. I mean, because people on a daily basis, you know, they're taking out pictures of their kids and their weddings and all that. You know what, it was just this year that I was able to legally marry my husband in the state of California. You know, that, that privilege that uh, is, is denied so many people, you know, and it's marriage equality. Uh, you know, that, you know, love is love. You know, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, if it's gay or straight. Uh, you know, we just want to be loved and love. Thank you very much. Thank you.